West County and Creve Corps, where plans are move, zooming forward to overhaul the western half of the Bear Corporate Campus. Hotels, townhomes, and upscale retail shops are all part of that development that's likely to run into the hundreds of millions of dollars. But with change, of course, comes concern. We'll put this on the map for you so you understand what we're talking about. Bears campus splits between Lindbergh near Olive. That concern tonight comes from the West Campus, and that's where First Alert Force Russell Kinsall is this evening to explain what has people talking about this, Russell. Sam, right now I'm on Spady Woods Drive, and uh, if you look over here between these two houses, you probably can't even see it because of the bushes and the trees, but that's where the western portion of the Bayer campus is, the former Bayer campus, and formerly Monsanto before that. So on Monday, the city council will make a final vote on the site concept plan in phase one of this big, huge project. But the people who live in the neighborhoods around it are saying, can we slow down a little bit? Let's keep talking. Maybe we can work out some compromises, like maybe not cutting down all those big, tall trees. Ever since we've lived here, Monsanto, Bear, they've been great neighbors. Martha Smith has lived on Spady Woods Drive for 22 years and loves the quiet neighborhood with tall trees. She supports the redevelopment but says she and her neighbors have some concerns. But we also think that the neighboring communities, um, which is quite a few streets in Creef Core just need to be protected. Bayer sold the 96 acre western portion of its crop science headquarters to a developer who wants to transform it into only a village. Plans call for boutique shops and popular retailers, grocery store, multiple hotels and restaurants, as well as some office space. Robert Hoffman is Creef Core's mayor. This is probably a once in a generation project for Creef Core. Residents fear tall trees as much as 60 years old, which are a big feature of the neighborhood, will be cut down and that this will be the new view out the back window, a retaining wall and much shorter trees. And these trees and all the other vegetation provide privacy screen, noise protection, protection from the lights. The mayor said the project will preserve 30 acres of green space, but some trees do need to go. Some of the trees are not survival. They're not surviving. They're, they're already dead and that those have to be removed. Another concern, stormwater drainage and potential flooding. But the mayor said MSD will have to approve all features for handling stormwater. In some areas, buildings can be as high as eight stories. The height of the buildings from the neighbor's uh, properties are going to be very visible. Um, and the eight level parking garage is going to be, a we were told, is a public garage. The mayor said the parking garage would be 200 feet from any homes. We haven't finalized any plans on the height of the garage. Mayor Hoffman said the nearby Danforth Plant Science Center's new innovation district called 39 North will bring researchers to the area who want to live and shop at Olea Village. This is a long-term project. If approved, it won't be completed till the year 2029. Live in Creepcore, Russell Kinsell, First Alert 4.